Australia has ramped up cooperation with ASEAN to support shared recovery from the pandemic. Because better health and economic growth is what we all want. Building on existing programs, our new cooperation spans ASEAN's three pillars. Within the socio-cultural pillar, Australia stands for access to safe, effective vaccines. We're flying in doses, starting with Vietnam and Indonesia. And through UNICEF, we're procuring vaccines for up to 9 million people in Southeast Asia. In addition to our contributions to COVAX and the ASEAN COVID Response Fund. And we're assisting with cold chain, training of health workers and information to address vaccine hesitancy. We're supporting ASEAN Centre for Public Health Emergencies and Emerging Diseases and new ASEAN Health Scholarships. Building capacity against disease spread from animals and increasing mental health cooperation. Within the economic pillar, we're backing the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework, expanding our work on digital trade standards, connectivity and sustainable infrastructure partnering with Mekong countries on economic, trade, environment and cyber and updating our regional free trade agreement with ASEAN and New Zealand. We look forward to supporting RCEP implementation and within the political security pillar, a new program is advancing cooperation on cyber and women, peace and security and we've pivoted our counter-human trafficking work to deal with COVID impacts will continue to support an open, inclusive, resilient region with ASEAN at its centre, in line with the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific, a region where Australia, ASEAN's oldest dialogue partner, works even more closely with our friends, neighbours and partners to support recovery. Australia will be with ASEAN every step of the way.